a nation can rise no higher than its women. So when you go to different environments and you see the plight of their women, because women are the mothers, women are bringing forth the future, the new generations. How women are in a lower position, in a position where they're literally not living up to their divine being, to their divine call in their life. When you see this, this is a sign that there is rapid psychological subversion going on. There is spiritual decimation going on. What I'm also picking up to is I'm seeing a lot of reminders of the Hopi prophecy. The Hopi prophecy is about restoration coming into play. And that restoration comes into play when there is an imbalance, when there is not respect for the divine feminine energy. Because there's no true upholding the divine masculine energy if there's not a respect and reverence for the divine feminine energy, the mother energy. There is no father without the mother. And so we've gotten far away from that within this current society. And we are being reminded. So right now, you could be feeling a sense of changing up your changing up your perspective about things, how it is that you show up in this world. You could be feeling the nudge to become more modest. You could be feeling the urge to be out in nature more. You could be feeling a sense of separating yourself from things that you know are toxic, especially when it comes to media, when it comes to music. And this is for a reason. Whether you want to believe it or not, we're experiencing major cellular upgrades. What's happening in the cosmos is affecting us as carbon beings. And the more melanin rich that you are, you're going to definitely experience more so of that change, that shift happening within you. And so this is divine intervention from the Most High. We are being updated with carbon uploads to our carbon data and what that's going to look like is mayat being restored on earth mayat is for some you could be thinking about on and when you think about religion or christianity you can think about the ten commandments okay the the the, the tenets of the ten commandments okay that's being restored if you are a follower of committed metaphysics or anything of higher knowledge, we're focusing on the 42 laws of Mayat. These things are being restored within the, within the earth. Right now, we're in the midst of it. And so these accession symptoms that you're feeling and in the sense of feeling uncomfortable, you may be feeling more lethargic. You are sensitive to the elements that's happening all around you whether you are aware of it or not. You could be feeling aches and pains and not sure where this, these things are coming from. You know, it's not fibromyalgia. It's not these things that you may try to get diagnosed from a doctor. What's happening is that your body is going through a massive upgrade and your spiritual consciousness is being awakened. You're seeing a brighter scope of what's happening in the world and you realize that you are an integral part of the change that it is that you want to see. So, as I mentioned, this is coming around full circle, so continue staying with me. If you have an ear to hear and a heart to feel, if you are feeling that, okay, that I, there are some changes that, that should be made for the greater humanity, you are the change. It's just simply about you not taking on this heavy burden of thinking that you have to you know, be at the forefront in, in a way that seems typical. Like you have to carry, you know, this uh, this flag of um, literally trying to save people. None of that. But your being is so powerful. When your heart is aligned with your soul, that energy radiates outside of you. Your aura is felt. So when you do that house cleaning, literally within your temple, when you do clean the cleaning of the way you think, when you clear out that clutter of the way in which you show up in this world, when you allow yourself to be bold enough 
to trust the guidance that's given to you and allow the angels and ancestors to continue to guide you or to shift your trajectory in life, that is the healing that's needed within this earth. And this is what many of us are experiencing right now. Right now, you're also feeling the need to go your own way, regardless of what anybody thinks. This is a strong conviction. You may feel this throughout the day. Even when you're sleeping, these reminders are coming up at, at, um, at night in your sleep. <laughs> you may be feeling the need to eat less, to drink more water. All these things are benefiting you, the entire being, mind, body, and soul, so that you can show up in the world as what God has designed you to be. That's so healing when you're able to abide by your intuition, abide by that Christ consciousness that's literally being activated within you, and to know that by you making the choice to separate yourself from toxicity, whether that is the type of content that you're consuming, the type of music that you're consuming, the foods that you're consuming, um, the thoughts that you're allowing to linger in your head. When you allow yourself to really deal with those things, you are providing healing. And this is going to be so imperative, especially if you are someone that you are, if you're a mother, even if you're not a mother, but in particular, if you are a mother, you are you are experiencing a divine opportunity here you even if it may seem like you're not watching paying attention they're soaking up everything that is going on with you so in order for you to continue to or to shift because you may not have had this type of insight but when you know better you do better if you have it in you that you want to do better within your life if you want to separate yourself from a type of lifestyle that no longer benefits you or feels that it has hindered you, God has given you this insight for a reason. Because literally you impact so much change throughout everyone in your environment just by you deciding to do the right thing when it's so it seems so convenient to do what everyone else is doing. Have the courage and the bravado to do what God is leading you to do, what the Most High, what Yeshua, what Jesus Christ is leading you to do. And the power that you yield is so magnetic. When you begin to align more so with what your soul is calling you to do, regardless of what the world says to do, the world says that you need to be twerking on the handstand. The world says that you need to be on only OnlyFans. The world says that you need to be out here meeting a man about a horse. The world says that you need to, you know, um, you know, I can I can just run down a list of all the toxic things that they have really perverted the minds of women with in particular. The world says you should harbor hatred and resentment. The world says that you should reject your biological makeup to fit in and it may not be that extreme but whatever it is that you feel that is making you show up in this world and not fully feel content within yourself is a sign this is a blatant sign to choose what you feel right within your heart and if your heart has been so polluted by the matrix that you're not sure Pray on it. Meditate on it. You're going to get the answers in that stillness. And this is why there's so many changes that's happening to so many people. People are becoming awakened. There's the Spiritual awakening doesn't happen in one time. There's different levels of spiritual awakening. Sometimes you may awaken in some aspect and you may want to go back to sleep. But stop hitting snooze. Allow yourself to continue to experience these awakenings because it is bettering your life and it's helping to uplift humanity as a whole. Yes, it's a big deal, but you are a vital part of that big deal. So trust that women, daughters of God and sons of God, you are important <laughs> and you are vital to rectifying what's happening in the world. Be healed.